Welcome to Pringles Park. I'm Chris Harris, and welcome to General's on Deck. Tonight, Jackson takes on the Chattanooga Lookouts, the AA affiliate of the Los Angeles Dodgers, and Jackson looks to win their fourth game in a row and take the series against these Chattanooga Lookouts, who they're 6-1 and one against this season. Last night, the Generals win their third straight, 2-1 to one over these Chattanooga Lookouts, and a big part of that was Steve Garrison. Last night, seven innings pitched. He struck out five. That's seven innings a season. I also we visit with Steve here on General's on Deck. Steve, congratulations on the great start and I know it was good for you to, to get a good outing on the mound. Oh absolutely I really appreciate it. you know the other four starters have been doing great this whole season and it's about time I kind of step up and help them out a little bit. Last night the, the seven innings pitched a season high five strikeouts you're not a strikeout pitcher uh, but last night you were, you were miss, missing some bats. Well you know when we needed it, I was able to miss some bats but you know uh, Sucre behind the plate made some awesome calls behind the plate and the defense you know gave me all the confidence in the world let them put it in play so they just uh, you know defense bailed me out a lot and it's uh, a great team effort. A couple of times, Larry Bonilla at third. He made the great diving play with the runner at third, then uh, made the great play down the third baseline. Larry Bo has been phenomenal at third. Unbelievable. You know, every ball hit to him, you know, he's almost a guaranteed out. Uh, you know, and Chang made that great throw from right field to get an Oriega coming in, getting the guy uh, scoring, trying to score from uh, second. It's just, you know, it's a great defense. You know, I, I can't say, say it enough. You know, these guys have been great behind me and great behind us all year. You're a pitcher that pitches to contact. You're not going to strike out a lot of batters, but last night getting the great defensive effort. Uh, and for you, that was just a prototypical Steve Garrison start. Well, I appreciate it. I, I'm just trying to, you know, do what you say, you know, pitch to contact and let the defense play behind me. And with this good a defense, you know, it's, it's very comforting to be able to throw strikes and be able to say, here you go, hit it. Let's talk about your career a little bit. You find yourself now with the Seattle Mariners organization coming from the New York Yankees organization. Last year you had a chance to be in double-A in Trenton, uh, double-A for the Yankees and pitch in your hometown or just a few miles from where you grew up. How was that experience for you? Oh, it was definitely an honor. It's great. You know, it's definitely something that I've always wanted to do. Uh, it was great to be able to live at home, you know, and be able to, I knew the area. So all the guys, if they wanted to go out to eat or something like that, they would ask me. And I'd be like, oh, yeah, I know the area so well. So here you go. Go to this place. Go to that place. Uh, you know, it was great seeing my friends, family, and just to be around it. It was awesome. And, of course, last year you had a chance to make your major league debut for the New York Yankees. I think that's just about every kid's dream to, to pitch on the mound at Yankee Stadium. Well, it was definitely an honor, especially being from the Northeast and everything like that. You know, it was one of those things where it was just awesome to be able to be uh, wear the pinstripes and everything like that and be able to throw strikes and be able to get two outs. You know, the game, you know, it was a blowout of a game that I got in, but it was still just an honor to be there. Tell me, uh, that was in July last year. You were playing the Seattle Mariners, now the team you're with. Uh, do you remember the two batters you faced? Absolutely. It's Gutierrez and Smoke. And, uh, you know, it was definitely, you know, I see Smoke walk through the plate like, oh, man, this guy's pretty big. But, you know, it was definitely uh, an honor, and definitely I'm glad I got him out. Yeah, you know, everybody dreams of pitching at Yankee Stadium. And who started that game uh, for the Yankees? Uh, CeCe. Sabathia did. And it was, uh, you know, whenever he takes a man, you're like, well, I'm probably not going to get in today. But, you know, he... I was able to get in the ninth inning, but it was uh, definitely still a great experience. And you were on the game. Were you were on the mound when the game ended as well. So how was that experience? I'm sure getting a handshake from Russell Martin. Oh, it was awesome. You know, Russell Martin, Jeter, all those guys coming out, and all the guys came out, and they they all knew that it was my debut. So they all came out and gave me a hug and everything like that. And it was it was definitely a great great feeling. And being a guy from that part of the country pitching for that team I'm sure you grew up maybe a Yankee fan uh, my mom did I'm um, as a baseball fan in general so I never really had one specific team but my mom was definitely a Yankee fan so for her it was it was definitely a great thing tell me about this first half experience for you pitching on a team that's so talented a lot of great young prospects uh, you started out in the bullpen now you're in the starting rotation winning a first half how is this season ranked as far as your career I mean this team is one of the best I've ever played on you know especially in the minor leagues I mean these guys have I mean, every position there's definitely a, a, a prospect or, you know, a guy that I can see being in the big leagues. You know, in this starting rotation, this, this pitching staff is just it's unbelievable. I mean, I've never been around guys that have this much talent, and, and they're all just such great guys, too. I think that also helps us, all our camaraderie that we have in the locker room. We all just get along so well. And it's just one of those things where, you know, every night there's a guy on the mound that we'd be like, well, he can probably throw a shutout. It's, it's definitely a great feeling. 2.94 team earn run average. I mean, 70 games into a season, that's almost unheard of. Oh, it definitely is. You know, and it's uh, it's pretty impressive, you know, to see these guys out there day in and day out and just sometimes, you know, most of the time dominate the, the other team. It's pretty it's pretty fun to watch. Now, Monday night was a pretty uh, pretty exciting night for us. Had a chance to, to celebrate and, and enjoy some time as being uh, the first half champions. How was that experience for you? Oh, it was great. You know, definitely be able to have the champagne bottle and pop them open. It was definitely a great, great time. You know, it was uh, one of those things I'll never forget. 
Now, uh, at the end of that, a few guys thought it would be great to come out and, and, and get me. I was already in my travel clothes. I, I did review the video, and I did see Steve Garrison kind of running out there. So any thoughts about that? Well, you know, you're a part of the team. So, you know, we, we thought we had to get you, and we thought it was a, a thing where we had to do it. So it was, we're, we're glad. <laughs> <laughs> Payback is so sweet. Steve, sorry. Had, had to do that to you. Little Ralph Enriquez jumping in there. Uh -huh. L little payback. I appreciate it, but, you know, you should be getting Ralph. He, he was the main guy that did it, but I appreciate it. Thanks. All right, Steve Garrison. Last night he got the victory. We got some cleaning up to do around here. This has been Generals on Deck. Enjoy tonight's ball game.